All right, then mm -hmm. I'll start now. Hello, how are you? Hello, I'm great, thank you. Okay, first of all, what is your name? My name is Hasanela Olia, but you can call me Hasna for short. Where do you live? I live in a small city called Salatiga in Indonesia. Do you live in a house or a flat? I live in a house with both of my parents and my siblings. Mm -hmm. Is it a big place? Mm, I wouldn't say my house is a big place, but it's moderate. So we have, at, I think, three rooms, three to four rooms in our house. How long have you lived there? I've lived here my whole life, so ever since I was born and until now. What do you like? Uh, what do you like about living there? What do you like about living there? I like the environment around my house. I uh, we have an extraordinary school near, um, actually right in front of our house, and it's interesting to make friends with uh, people with um, just uh, special abilities. Mm. Is there a park in your place that you live in? Is there a park Pardon? there? Is there a park there? Um, there is a park, but uh, I think it is five minutes away from my house. And now let's talk about the weather. How is the weather lately? Um, it's a bit cloudy here, uh, where I am right now. I bring, I always make sure I bring an umbrella when I, I go to school because it tends to rain um, in the afternoons. Do you like a rainy season or a dry season? I prefer rainy season because I cannot stand the heat. And I get distracted a lot with uh, the hot weather. So I prefer the rain season. Uh, tell me about the weather in your country in different times of the year. So in my country, we have two seasons, the, rain, the rainy season and the hot season. Uh, each of them is I think six months long. So uh, in January to, uh, until uh, June, we have the rain season. And after that, so July until the end of the year, December, we have the hot season. How do people in your country deal with hot weather? Um, people in my country deal with hot weather by uh, Going to the beach, we have a lot of beaches uh, here and uh, we usually drink uh, we, what we call esteler. Esteler is uh, a fruit punch that is quite popular here and it, it is very refreshing. Do you usually pay attention to the weather forecast? No, I wouldn't say I usually pay attention to the weather forecast, but I do occasionally um, check uh, the weather forecast, especially when I am, when my parents aren't able to pick me up from school and I have to go home by my own. Um, has the weather changed much in your country in recent years? I would say that I've noticed uh, the hot weather getting hotter. So I feel like a few years ago when I was 10 or 11, even when it is, uh, even when it was the hot, in the hot season, uh, I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't be, uh, I wouldn't sweat as much, but I think now uh, I get, uh, I get frequently um, sweaty in those hot seasons. But I think that's pretty much it. Okay, so that will be the end of speaking part one. Now I'll move on to the speaking part two. I will share you these questions to the share screen. Let's see. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs>
I'll set the timer also. Mm -hmm. Okay, have you gotten your note on paper? Oh yeah, I do. Okay. Yes. <clears throat> so you have one minute to take notes on these questions. All right. Starting from now? Yes. Okay. Times up. Okay, you ready? Okay, you can start your talk yeah. now. So, an environmental problem I see recently is a uh, flooding in Jakarta. So, it is a phenomenon where um, the rain, uh, the when it was raining, the water cannot be absorbed absorbed by the surfaces uh, because in Jakarta it is very urbanized. So we have have um, streets there, and there are uh, a minimal amount of trees that can help the um, that can yeah that can help the. Uh, the surface to absorb uh, water. So uh, when it was, uh, I think it was raining quite heavily there and then it flooded. And this happened quite frequently in Jakarta and um, it definitely affects the people there. So after a flood, uh, after the flood has drained, we usually see trashes everywhere. Uh, yeah, there were trashes everywhere um, in people's houses and in the streets, on the streets, because the flood um, bring those trashes along uh, with it. And uh, a lot of people also had to rebuild their uh, like shops. So they have like small shops uh, in front of their houses, uh, which are not flood, flood proof. And it usually, it got damaged when the flood happened. So they had to rebuild the shops. And then, oh, we can see that. One minute, 44 seconds. Okay. okay. Nice. So that will be the end of speaking part two. Now I'll move on to speaking part three. Okay, ready? So the first is, what are some of the main environmental problems in your country? I frequently see flooding and uh, happening around my country, especially in this rainy season. Mm. Okay. Why should people be concerned about the environment? Uh, I think for sure people uh, should be uh, concerned with the environment because it's the environment that we live in. It's about the conditions of the uh, uh, the things around us and the nature around us. And we are the one who uh, actively use it and utilize it. So we have to pay attention to how we can save them from damages um, caused by Men, man-made damages. Yeah. How can people protect the environment? 
people can protect the environment, uh, in my belief, is by uh, the the bare minimum that people can do is by uh, throwing trashes where they are supposed to be thrown, so not on the streets and not in the forests, uh, but in the uh, center of uh, disposals. And uh, people can also protect the environment by um, reducing the uh, the gases from transportations like cars and uh, motorcycles. They often emit um, uh, carbon, di carbon dioxide that is harmful for the environment. Do you think money should be spent on protecting animals also? Yeah, for sure. I think that uh, money should be spent uh, on protecting animals because uh, we don't live in this world alone. We also have other animals and other creatures that we need to take care of. And um, animals can also benefit us in our daily life, like animals that we usually consume, cows, for example, and chickens, uh, but also uh, animals that are, uh, that can be, uh, that can be used to protect us like dogs and uh, there are also animals that can we utilize that can uh, that we can utilize as uh, a form of transportation like uh, horses for example okay now let's move on to water pollution is water pollution a problem in your country yes water pollution is a problem uh, in my country mainly because uh, the lack of uh, concerns when it comes to uh, disposing trashes the correct way. So a lot of people just throw their trashes and uh, just throw their trashes uh, in rivers and in lakes, and that caused the water pollution to happen. Mm -hmm. Um, do you think that the water we consume and we use affect us in some ways? Yes, for sure. The water we consume, especially, it is used uh, by our body for our metabolisms and just uh, it affects the well-being of our body in general. And the water we use outside of, uh, outside of that, so outside of uh, the water that we use that we consume uh, also affects uh, maybe uh, our food because we use water to make food and uh, we use water to clean our house so when the water is not in good quality then it wouldn't actually clean uh, anything that we'd like okay do you think that a uh, drinking middle water is healthier than drinking tap water in my country, definitely. So I'm in some other countries, tap water are safe to be consumed. But in Indonesia, unfortunately, tap water are dirty and it is safer to uh, buy mineral, mineral water. Um, if we were to uh, consume tap water, then we would have to uh, boil it first. So cook it first so that it is free from bacteria and dirt. Mm -hmm. Do you think that problems in the tap water or water cleanliness will improve in the future? Pardon? Do you think that problems with the cleanliness of water will improve in the future? Um, I see the government trying their best uh, and doing uh, much effort and uh, increasing the quality of, of water uh, that we consume. So yeah, I think that uh, it will improve in the future, but maybe not as fast as we would like. Okay, so right then, that will be the end of our speaking part three. And now 